Now that Ultimate Wrestling is brought to you by Aftershock Music Entertainment. 585-447-1368. Go to your Facebook. Dot com after shock entertainment servicing Rochester and Buffalo area. And you are watching Now That's Ultimate Wrestling. So one way to describe tonight is legendary. And I mean legendary. Because we have El Snow, Shane Douglas, Don McDenucci, and the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart here. Before I go any further, I'd like to announce our commissioner for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, from Memphis, Tennessee, no fools going to TNA, WCW, WF, and WWE, and of course, he is a WWE Hall of Famer, he is WWE legend, the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart! Hey, I don't know about you guys, but I grew, up, I grew up watching this manager, the best manager of all time. I was able to talk to him earlier today. He had managed 23 different superstars, or teams, that we can say. 23. That's that's got to be the biggest. What a what a great career that man has had. Well, first of all, thank you guys for coming out tonight, man. This is awesome. Batavia Downs Casino and Hotel have been so great to us tonight. So before we get started, I'd like to present a few people with a couple of presents, okay? And if they would come down to ringside. They uh, are responsible for helping put this together at Batavia Downs Casino and Hotel. Uh, Lee, would you come down front? Lee, also, would um, Ryan come down? And also, Henry, Ryan, Henry, and Lee, would you please come down front? We appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, give them a nice round of applause. Thank you, guys. The hotel here is phenomenal. If nobody's stayed in it before, you need to check it out. It is great. The casino is clean and wonderful to go play in. And what a great chance for us to have this wrestling show down here tonight. There you go. Get the pictures made. All right. Smile. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We love you. Thank you. all And let's thank you guys for coming out tonight. We've been over at the picture table, Al Snow and myself, and we've been taking pictures already. But uh, we've had so many great wrestling stories you guys have brought to us. So thank you for watching. My career has been kind of crazy. Started in Memphis with Jerry the King Lawler and Andy Kaufman, of course. And then we went to, um, had the magic phone call and went to uh, New York, the WWF back then. I was so happy to be part of WrestleMania number one 34 years ago. Yeah. 34. Can you believe that? I don't know. And then, of course, a little short stint with WCW, then, of course, back up here. Uh, to uh, the WWE, of course. But listen, I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to be the commissioner tonight. I'm going to be the commissioner in Memphis, but Jerry Lawler beat me up, and I couldn't be one. But tonight, I get to be the commissioner. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for coming out tonight. It's going to be an unbelievable uh, show here for you guys. Some of these kids in the back are really, really awesome, man. So uh, just have fun tonight. Give them a lot of cheers. Boom, if you want to, and have a great time. We love you guys, okay? Thank you. Thank you It's great to have him off the south, Jimmy Hart. Here's commissioner for the day here at Jackpot. Young Lion of the West Matic versus Real Mother Trucker, Dewey Murray. This next match it is Sid Paul Young Lion of the West Matic. Former EW Tag Team Champion. Lost the Hellcat. Recently, the uh, belts were vacated. 
due to uh, Hellcat's early retirement. He had some uh, health issues that he take care of, having some surgeries, and uh, decided to uh, finally slow down a little bit in his wrestling career, take some time off, and uh, Somatic is now a singles competitor here in Ultimate Wrestling. Shut the goddamn music off. You all should be standing on your feet, cheering for greatness. I am the damn man around here. You got the mouth of the South to the heart. You know what they call me around here? You know one of the doors. How's it feel, Mitch, to pay some money to watch me wrestle tonight? So whoever wants to step up to the plate and challenge me in this no disqualification match, I see you spinning it all out of day. The mother trucker Dewey Murray. Mac truck himself. Dewey Murray is a 14 year veteran. What a great talent. we are faced against Maddox. What a contest is going to be. Your ultimate wrestling as we present to you Jackpot. See, what you need is something your daddy hasn't done. And that is teaching respect. Because when you come out and you say cut that music, that is one man's line in this business. And that's a goddamn franchise. Shane Douglas. So, what I'm going to do is give you an old fashioned. ECW style ass beaten around this casino to show you respect. Like I respect these legends. Like I respect El Snow. Like I look up to Shane Douglas. You're gonna be looking up at me in the lights. Come on, big guys, bring it away. Woods is the referee. He's going to keep some order in this contest. Manic, what a great competitor. We're going to face it one-on-one -on -one against Dewey Murray. The, uh, this attitude stinks, to be honest. I don't know if you're going to be the Manic, but his talent is almost unbeatable. To the to his taters, as he calls him. Calls him the corner, charges in. Huge corner splash from Dewey Murray. Scoops him up. Huge body slam in the center of the square circle. That makes his way to the outside. Catch a breather here. He's going after him. 
Max calling for a timeout, but we all know, fans, there is no timeout here in pro wrestling. Oh, what a big right hand. Taking Maddox down to the outside. Oh, what a huge chop to the chest of Maddox. Dewey Murray is a man that can fight. Take it to any competitor. Chops in the chest of Maddox. Maddox fighting his way back here. Oh, wow. Dewey Murray ran into the apron. Head first. Has a steel chair in his hands. He's going for it. Takes a swing. Oh! Kicked in the midsection from Manic. He's able to the back of the neck. Sends him in. Oh, wow, right into the corner post on the outside. Walks right over him to show a disrespect to Dewey Murray. I don't think Maddox really respects anybody, to be honest. The only man I've ever known him to get along with was Hellcat, who was his trainer. Goes under the ring bell. Dewey Murray able to make his way out of the path of Maddox. Picks him up. Oh, drops him back first on top of the ring apron. That is the most solid part of the ring, fans, is that apron. There is no give there. The frame of the ring is actually right there. So everything meets. Liam Murray grabs another steel chair. Hardcore style is not uh, is not a style that Dewey Murray is not familiar with. He's been in some huge battles with all sorts of weapons. Anything you could think of, he had used. Oh, wow, reversal from Maddox driving Dewey Murray's face into the steel chair. Drop toe hole. Maddox trying to roll over the big man to go for a cover. Not enough to keep the big man down. Maddox once again having a word with the fans on the outside. Running knee to the temple of Dewey Murray. And he's got to stay on top of Murray here. Keeps him distracted having words with the fans. Murray has very quick resiliency. He can take a, a huge beating and keep coming back. Oh, wow. Running kick to the face. Dewey Murray taking him out of the steel chair from a sitting position. Maddox can still not keep the shoulders down and Murray to the mat. For the three count. Manage. Placing a steel chair into the corner to the middle and top turnbuckle. corner. 
Oops, mount all reversal from the big guy, setting Maddox head first into the steel chair. It's maybe what Dewey Murray's, Murray needs is for the pin. They can go for a cover here. Asking for fan support. Both these competitors are well traveled. Drive state to state. Just about every day of the week to compete. To show the fans exactly what they're made of. Maddox, a five year veteran, as I said earlier, doing Murray's been in business 14 years. Beach right hand, Somatic versus Irish Whip. Up by the big man. A huge clothesline. That's the line from Somatic. Catches him. A beautiful backbreaker. Very effective. Going for the cover. Not enough to keep Maddox's shoulders to the mat. What will it take? What will it take for the three count to happen? Which competitor will go home from Jackpot as the winner? Wait, these two have beaten the hell out of each other, fans. Win or not, they're not going to feel like much of a winner when it's all said and done. Dewey Murray once again grabbing a steel chair. I'm grabbing another one here. What's the big man have in mind? Setting him in the sitting position in the center of the chair facing each other. Center of the ring, excuse me. Setting Manic to the corner. Charges in. Caught by a boot to the jaw. Manic on the second turnbuckle. All oh, catches him with a cutter. Go for the cover. Is it going to happen here? The referee says the handle is on the rope, beginning of the pinfall. I didn't see any him at that point. The referee stating he cannot make go for the pinfall once he fully released the hand from the rope. Right hands in the corner from Maddox. For him to the jaw. Going for punches to the jaw. Oh, Dewey Murray reverses the power bomb from both chairs. Go for the cover. And he's got him. What a win for Dewey Murray. Make sure you tune in every Friday night at 9 p.m. to watch Now That Total Wrestling on Channel 1304 and Now That Total Wrestling on YouTube.
Rick, I know you haven't been around. You're a new guy. A new guy that I brought in just one show ago to do backstage promos. Now you happen to be in my spot for commentary, thanks to the so-called office. But you don't know the story behind, behind Axel Hall and his former trainee tag partner, Kendall James. Which he won the number one contendership from our ultimate rumble back in the month of January. But Kendall James has not seemed to make a date for that title opportunity for X Ball. That's all he's done. He's turned his back on him almost a year and a half ago, like a main event 31, back in uh, December of 2016. We are underway, guys, at Axel Hall and Elmo. One on one. And the UW look. And a lot of power. Actually, you've done a very admirable job of going through my crew, some of which were a little bit disappointing. But now, it seems that you've got your hands full with the elbow. But just to make sure that I'm a little bit safer, and this belt stays on this place, you've got yourself tonight, right now, a handicap match. Of course we do. His other opponent. Now. Kendall just keeps stacking the deck against Axel Hall. That's all he's been doing to Axel. Every time Axel seems to get ahead and get a great momentum to get it finally get his hands on Kendall James once again. He ends up throwing some curveball in with a set of goons. Another one of his goons, as you saw incredibly put in. Rob Cook, a man formerly known as the Generate Society IB3, and changed his name as he joined forces with Kendall James back in the month of September of last year. Now here we sit two on one. We got Elmo and his partner Axel. His partner's name is Robert Cook. I will fill that in since you obviously don't know that. Directed by Cook. Oh, taken out by Elmo. Now we have a two on one situation. Can we do anything to make this in a remotely fair fight? Stop by Axel. Both these opponents here tonight do anything and absolutely anything. Cause pain to their opponent. Let's go, Axel, right? Come on, Axel. Come on, guys. We're going to get one of them out of the ring. I don't believe this is a tag situation. Both uh, all three competitors are there at one time. So the new one, I thought, handed him tag team this, and I thought the word tag would have been involved. It's, it's Kendall's rules, so anything goes, even if it was... Elbow by Cook! Is he going for the cover already? Drop down for count. One, two, go! Kick out by Hall. A lot more damage to Hall now. One, two, again, kick out. Third time, not the charm, kick out by Hall. Oh, I'll take it off the assault, which is clearly what this is at this point. Although it may have seemed a desperate move for Robert Cook to keep going for the pin there, every time Axel has to kick out, it's more energy he's wasting. So it is a veteran move to even when you think you might not get the cover, go for it. It's a veteran move for him. Uh -huh. Then again, two, no. 
He got my extra ball. Robert Cook is a 21-year veteran. 16 years in the ring, he's probably doing other things as manager or whatnot. That was Robert Cook. Oh, no. Oh. 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 You get some sort of order in the ring now. Fans clearly on the side of that here. Ref Sean is new to Ultimate Wrestling and new to being a UW official. Uh, might be intimidating, especially with having Kendall James being the, one of the bosses of the office. You know, calls line by Axel Hall. Bear hug, where's Hall gonna go with him? Suplex, belly belly. Hall for the cover. One, two, save by Elmo. Just in time. They have had it there. Some kind of nose qualification or something because there seems to be clearly no rules when the boss is hitting his head. Or it seems to be the boss is hitting his elbow. Robert Cook doesn't care if there's DQ in the uh, stipulation or not. He'll do anything he can. He'll stretch it out until it is broken up. I see your point, but I mean, he's equally focused on the fans as he is his point. Which is something you can't do when you're on the mark. You get with that someone who's having a My Hall. Great move from Hall. Maybe exactly what he needs to capitalize and turn this thing around here in his favor. The fans are behind Hall. Can you keep the momentum going? He's got Cook in the corner. And now he's focusing his attention on the almost equally sized Elmo. We have him in equal, we have him in opposite corners. Splash! Splash on Elmo. Splash on Cook. Splashes Elmo! Spear! Oh wow! Can Hall go for the cover? Does he have it in him? Nope. It's clearly a second win by Hall. Peace mode! Peace mode! Sit down, slam by Axel. He's going for cover number one, two, three! The winner of the match, Axel Hall, against all odds, pulls out the victory. And I'll do the replays. Thank you, Axel Hall, with the double spear to Cook and Elmo. Double combination for the one, two, and three. Make sure you tune in every Friday night at 9 p.m. to watch Now That Tokyo Wrestling on Channel 1304 and Now That Tokyo Wrestling on YouTube.
But I feel like to sell yourself as the king of stupid isn't necessarily the best marketing for it. You two can shut up for a second. Did he wet himself? If you listen, I will tell you what There was an incident. There was an incident with a pumpkin. And all I'm going to say is it got stuck. Anyway, we are going to figure this as an opportunity, LJ. You are a tremendous athlete. A tremendous wrestler. I just want you Mr. 10, and to get a little bit more mean. Or is it the other way around? We're going to add some toxicity to Ring Crew Warriors. What? Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you our partner this evening for Ring Crew Warriors, Tony Toxic! Talking about terrifying, these guys are kind of terrifying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you! Shut up! Psycho Jack is usually a much more of an animated individual. 
But some reason he seems particularly annoyed by LJ tonight. More so than everybody else is. Michael Jack Nan uh, Hansen does not need a reason to be angry. He is always annoyed. Never look at the man's face. I mean, shoot, if I had to look at my face in the mirror and look like that, I'd be annoyed too. I never mean no, never mean a good move. What possibly could be LJ's plan of attack here? Well, I think he's gonna try and shoot for the right side. Because that's the only eye you can see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I'll take off the ropes. Well, you, you see what happened? PJ stuck to LJ's left side. LJ didn't even see it coming. That went about as well as expected. All right, let's try again. Good, good. I think the best advice I could offer Tony Toxic is go home. I agree. I'm wondering if he's regretting his decision yet to join up with LJ Thomas. Rock it! Rock it! That must have felt like a cannonball to the chest. Smaller, more agile, big pop chill in the ring. Oh my god. And when we say smaller, uh, it, it's. <laughs> he's still a big man. Giant! He's wide on all sides, and I mean, I'm thick too, but god! So we're gonna wonder at this point how Toxic's feeling about his call. Oh, oh, oh. Two count only. Oh good. Oh good. Take off. Take off second deck. LJ had his first offensive move in the last five years. He was proud of himself. Falls it up with the back elbow. Drop drop kick. Kick. That was a drop kick of his own. Rolling sent on. Off the rope. Falls it up with a sitting drop kick of his own. I don't know, Bill's in trouble. Even with the best offense that LK's mounted in his entire career, he couldn't get more than a one and a half count. <laughs> Face first in the turnbuckle. Tag is made. You know, they're making frequent, uh, frequent tags. That's what a good tag team does. Oh! They got the big man up. Two count only. So it seems to be in real trouble at this point. He's got to make that tag to Psycho Chad. If. And this is still a seismic if. If somehow the King of Stupid and his partner there score the victory, I don't know if there's been a greater upset ever in wrestling. You know, I think collectively they are the kings of toxic stupidity. I think we can market that. I, you know, I can see the t-shirt now. Oh, yeah. I can see a gas mask on a face with a patch over one eye. <laughs> Get up! Get up! 
Needed midsection. I'll take fouls in with a drop kick. Still seems to be in real trouble right now. Ruff really needs to get one of these men out of the ring. Such a cocky cover. Kendall says this all the time when I work with him. It's moments like that. That is the reason that LK is never elevated to the next level. Because he pulls things like that. Champions don't do one foot covers. The man, the man considers himself the king of stupids. I mean, how are you going to go anywhere in your career with, uh, with a name like that? Or with one eye? I mean, the man came out as a DJ. He came out as, you know, the forces with him. He came out as Mr. 10,000 and 0, even though he lost every match. If that's not stupid, I don't know what it is. I, uh, you look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> Irish is on the ropes. Still ducks under the clothesline. Oh! Big collision in the middle of the ring. Why would you run into Chip? I just don't understand. The thing is, I think that's the only offense he can do. Jill is so big compared to this. Uh, Tony Toxic. I'm, uh, you throw your all your might into it, everything you got, every pound you got, and take his man. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Close lines galore. Jill like a house of coming in like a house of zoom man. Hey, hey, what what does he got? What are you just saying to him? Oh, big spear! Is that a freaking Starburst? What the hell is that? I don't know. What is. Oh, Chill's got it. What it. That's a bad idea. Oh, boy. Monsters. Oh, look. no, that's an eye. Oh, no. Oh! Hey, Ultimate Wrestling, this is your boy LJ Thomas, and you're watching Ultimate Wrestling. Stupid. Nobody loves him. No love, no love. Down on the side of the road somewhere. It's a battle for sometimes how many fans that he has. Everybody. 
about his opportunity that he wants so bad for that last golden ring that he has to reach out for. As if there's competitors... Shut your mouth! Are you still here? Are you still Are here? You still here? Did you retire? Time? Shut your mouth! When was the last time? Oh, that's the table. Oh. Hopefully the table doesn't fight back. Where'd you get that out? There's a lot of dollar generals around here. He distracted me from my point. Ivy Green is complaining about not getting his opportunity to get a heavyweight championship that he's waited so long for. The reason why I'm making him prove it is because there's performers that have been in this business for years that are paying their dues still in this ring, like Hellcat, who still got that fire. And as a matter of fact, rumor has it that Hellcat has got his eyes set on that UW heavyweight championship as well. So everyone in this in this building can boo me all they want for making I.B. Green wait in line and earn his shot instead of dancing like a clown. But I bet you Hellcat doesn't have a problem with that. There's a lot of guy in that back that in the back that has no problem with this. There's a ton of guys in this locker room who would love nothing more than to have a shot at the UW Heavyweight Championship. You're 100 percent right, Kendall. Well, I'm glad you understand it. First thing you figured out since we started working together. I'll tell you what, if I do win, has a problem with me because I'm making him earn it. Sorry, not sorry, brother. Earn it. Back to the action in the ring. We have two incredibly different styles here. We got Venomous, we got Hellcat. Both longtime veterans of not only Ultimate Wrestling, but the professional wrestling in general. And both of these men have traveled the roads up and down. Venomous. Recent former heavyweight champion has got a chip on his shoulder because he's like he's going to have a look at his return match. Like it seems like as soon as he lost the heavyweight title, it went way gone. That train deported real fast on Venice. He's got to get back on the winning track here. Big shot by Venice. I feel that's unadvisable. Yeah, getting into a chop battle is not something you want to do with Hellcat. Literally, yeah. If I had a list of 10 things you don't do in pro wrestling, number one, don't chop Hellcat. I'm just thinking, I'm thinking, and if you do, just retire on the spot. Top and retire, top and retire. That's when you're done. Snap elbow by Venomous, usually executed. Venomous is just looking crisp right now. And crisp because he stinks, he's smelling his mind. I ended the rank two of four as I was on. Highly talented. Yeah. Incredible showing early on here by Venomous, but it is going to take a lot more than that to be able to score the victory on Hellcat. Starts under. Goes over. Sunset flip. flip. Two count only. Next level experience from Hellcat. Venomous. He's feeling it tonight. Venomous is feeling it. Sometimes in wrestling, there's nothing more dangerous than a wrestler that feels that he's being overlooked. Especially one that has the credentials of being a former heavyweight champion. Then the Sentai hit to the outside. What an incredible night of action so far here tonight at UW's Wicked. We still have an incredible night of action left to come. 
including a number one contender match for the UW Tag Team Championship. We still got the UW title on the line, Internet Championship on the line. We got a great night of action still ahead of us here tonight. Ben was trying to tell Cat face first in the ring and ring. I'll tell you, I, I think the entire UW fan base can attest to the fact that Ultimate Wrestling is out of work. And there isn't anybody that's going to stop. You're welcome. Reverse the Anderson. Then the staff started going into the turnbuckle. There's those chops you were talking about, Kendall. See, here, uh, up until that point, I actually thought that Venomous might be LJ Thomas, but he actually saw the corner post, so he stopped. LJ wouldn't have seen it. He would have run around in a circle. In a same circle? In like a circle. In like a circle. Oh. 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 Both men battling on the outside as the ref gets starts to count. He's up to three. Another shot by Hellcat. Now see, I'm going to tell you something right now that look that I see in Hellcat's eyes. He is nothing but business right now. He's not taking the time to dance around here and mess around with me or high five all the crowd. He's taking the action out to them, but he is staying on top of them. The man is singularly focused on gaining the one thing he hasn't had in UW. It's showing you the importance of that UW heavyweight championship. It's a point that it hasn't had in a while. There's a lot of men, I, I, I can't speak to your thought process, Kendall, but there's a lot of men in that locker room who deserve a shot at the UW Championship. And how can, based on reputation alone, has to be at the top of that list. Absolutely. Absolutely. His name is in the mix. He's in the moment. Double stun to the back. Quick cover. Two count only. Ben is slowing down. I don't know how wise this is. You don't want to let Hellcat get a breather. It's no secret that there's a history of back issues with Hellcat. So that's got to be his weakness. If you're looking for a point of attack on the veteran, you go after that back. You start working on it, and that seems to be what Venice is really doing right now. Is that coming from your years' experience in the ring? It really is? Why don't you leave that back to me? Anyway. I think he's working on his back because that's a one weak point on health and his back. If there's one point that he should really attack, it's 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 the back region. Because we know he has a history of injuries to his back. I, 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 I couldn't have said it better myself. Good, because he didn't. Venice is absolutely relentless. He's not letting up for a second. He's got it. That's his only option. You let Hellcat regroup his thoughts. There's a lot of vile ideas that go through Hellcat's mind. You can't let him come through with them. Or it's going to be lights out for Venom. Again. See it. Set time. Goes to the cover. One, two, two count. Oh. Nice. This is exactly what you were talking about, Kendall. He needs to continue the assault on Hellcat and not be frustrated that he was only able to get a two count. That's a mistake. That was that one. Beautifully actually you move by Hellcat. Goes for the clothesline and the leg sweep at the same time. Getting back to the sound of the back. Two count only. Hellcat does not miss those windows of opportunity. Against a level of talent like Venice. Capitalize every single time. That is a week of reversal. Catch yourself, baby. Good job right there. Again. Telegraph the move. How can't touch his knee? Then it's catching the foot of the elbow. Then it's catching the foot of the elbow. And ducks under. The roll up. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. The next one. You are this match. You are the time for God. How can't. That's it, now gets first yet another victory and his continued success here in Ultimate Wrestling. Thank you for watching Ultimate Wrestling. 
Make sure you tune in every Friday night at 9 p.m. to watch Now That Talks of Wrestling on Channel 1304 and Now That Talks of Wrestling on YouTube. Now that Ultimate Wrestling is brought to you by Aftershock Music Entertainment. 585-447-1368. Go to your Facebook.com Aftershock Entertainment. Servicing Rochester and Buffalo area.